The deadly shooting, our daily bread and over the Rhine reopens with new security in place. Local 12's Adam Clements shows us how the soup kitchen is now safer for workers and guests, and it'll continue to be about more than just a meal. But you really don't know how it feels until it actually hits your home. Yeah, a lot of family is going to have a void in their life because Deontay is not there. Family members of Deontay Maddox tearfully addressed the shooting that left the 28-year-old dead and a woman critically injured. Last Monday, Robert Jacobs walked into Our Daily Bread and opened fire. Police say the victims were targeted on the violent end of a domestic dispute. It's not hard for me as a Christian woman to say that you are forgiven by me. It's not hard for me to say that. I'm hurt, but it's not hard for me to say that. I just ask that all this violence please stop because it's really, you don't know really how it feels until it hits your home. Sure, we have coffee, you have water and coffee. Today, one week after the deadly shooting, the Over the Rhine Soup Kitchen reopened. This is a home, this is a place of love, this is a space of community, and it is so, so needed for so many people. And I know we keep saying it, but we're a family here and we just needed to come back together. The biggest changes here at Our Daily Bread, a brand new metal detector that folks will have to go through when they first enter the building, as well as a more detailed check-in process here at the front desk. You know, after this is forgotten, will security measurements still be in place? And you hope that they are? Yes, I do. I definitely hope that they are. Despite the horrific scene last week, neither the employees nor the regulars shied away this morning. I was looking forward to coming back this morning. I got down here earlier before they even open up. Was there any hesitation for you to come back here today? No. No, it wasn't. It's as normal as the folks here could have asked for, if not more so. The hope now is that things stay this way. He tried to take something from us, but he didn't take it from us because you can't take away that love. And that's, we just, we, we're going to overcome it. In Over the Rhine, Adam Clements, Local 12 News. Robert Jacobs faces murder, felonious assault, and weapons charges. He's being held on more than $2.5 million bond. Today, the nation 